An unarmed Trident II D-5LE missile was fired from the Ohio-class ballistic missile submarine USS Louisiana SSBN-743 off the coast of San Diego, California. This marked a successful Demonstration and Shakedown Operation 32, DASO-32. The primary objective of a DASO is to evaluate and demonstrate the readiness of the SSBN's Strategic Weapon System SWS, and crew before operational deployment following the submarine's engineered refueling overhaul. This test marks 191 successful missile launches of the Trident II, D-5 and D-5LE SLBM, since it began operations in 1989. The Trident D-5LE Life Extension version will remain in service until 2042. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the test firing of Trident II D-5LE SLBM from USS Louisiana is a message to American rivals. Let's get started. The U.S. Navy noted, flight test missiles are not armed. Safety of the public and the crew conducting the mission is paramount. Today's launch was conducted from sea. The missile flew over the sea and landed in the sea. At no time did the missile fly over land. The missile test was not conducted in response to any ongoing world events or as a demonstration of power. Test launches, including DASOs, are scheduled years in advance. Vice Admiral Johnny Wolf Jr., Director of Strategic Systems Programs, said, I am immensely proud of the government industry team. The completion of DASO 32 marks a historic milestone in the life of the Trident II D5 weapon system and provides the SSP team with a tangible reminder of the great responsibility before us sustain this unmatched weapon system while developing the next generation strategic weapon system to ensure our nation's sea-based strategic deterrence capability through 2084. The Ohio class is a class of nuclear-powered submarines that's considered to be one of the most potent platforms in the world. The U.S. Navy has 18 Ohio-class submarines, 14 ballistic missile submarines SSBN, and four that were later converted to guided missile submarines SSGN. USS Louisiana SSBN-743 is the 18th and last ship of the United States Navy's Ohio class of nuclear-powered fleet ballistic missile submarines. The Ohio-class submarines are the largest submarines ever built for the U.S. Navy, having a displacement of 16,764 tons. USS Louisiana has a length of 560 feet or 170 meters and a speed of around 20 to 25 knots. Being nuclear-powered, it has unlimited range and endurance, limited only by food supplies. USS Louisiana is equipped with multiple sensors. The Surface Search, Navigation, and Fire Control Radar is BPS-15AIJ band radar. The sonar suite includes IBM BQQ-6 Passive Search Sonar, Raytheon BQS-13, BQS-15 Active and Passive High Frequency Sonar, BQR-15 Passive Toad Array from Western Electric, and the active BQR-19 navigation sonar from Raytheon. Cole Morgan Type 152 and Type 82 periscopes are fitted. Ohio-class submarines also come armed with four 21-inch tubes that can launch Mark 48 torpedoes. Mark 48 torpedo has a range of 50 kilometers or 31 miles and has a 650-pound or 290-kilogram high explosive warhead. However, these are intended primarily for self-defense. The first eight Ohio-class boats were originally built to launch the Trident I C-4 ballistic missile, an advanced version of the earlier Poseidon SLBM. 
However, by now, all of these are armed with the superior Trident II D5 ballistic missile. Trident II was designed to be more advanced than its predecessor, Trident I. Trident II was put into service in 1990. It has a greater range and payload capacity compared to Trident I. The missile is 13.579 meters in length, 2.11 meters in diameter, and weighs 58.5 tons. It's a three-stage rocket, each stage containing a solid-fuel rocket motor. It's thought to have an accuracy of 90 meters CEP. Trident II has a range of 11,000 kilometers, or 6,835 miles, and Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines carry 20 of these. Trident II is a multiple, independently targetable re-entry vehicle, MIRV missile, and up to 14 MIRVs can be accommodated in each. Each MIRV can be equipped with one nuclear warhead. So, when fully armed, Trident II can carry 14 W88 475 kiloton warheads or 14 W76 100 kiloton warheads. To give the viewer perspective, the Little Boy atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima had a yield of 15 kilotons of TNT, and the Fat Man atomic bomb that was detonated over Nagasaki had a yield of 21 kilotons of TNT. In short, a full salvo from an Ohio-class submarine, which can be launched in less than one minute, could unleash up to 20 multiple 14, in other words, 280 nuclear warheads. The 14 ballistic missile submarines of Ohio-class together carry approximately 50% of the total U.S. active inventory of strategic thermonuclear warheads. USS Louisiana is a doomsday weapon and can bring about utter annihilation to American enemies. Rivals of the U.S. are aware of its destructive capabilities. The reliability of Trident II SLBM makes this platform a killer. Ohio class was created to be the ultimate nuclear deterrence. While a first strike might wipe out a country's land-based missiles and nuclear bombers, it's very difficult to track a ballistic missile submarine patrolling quietly in the depths of the ocean, and it's almost impossible to take them all out in a first strike. So, Ohio ballistic missile submarines, like USS Louisiana, deter any enemy from launching a preemptive first strike. Whether it's Russia or China, both know that in case of a strike against the US, the retaliation will be swift, unstoppable, and immensely destructive. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.